Hi everyone, this is Kyle with K-Debate. I wanted to do a video on not the shootings that happened recently, but the, the premise around the response and potentially the causes of, um, not, not the police with the, the person that got shot and then later multiple people that got shot. That's, that's you, you have to find the facts about that. I can't talk about that because I don't know. But the response to it and then the response to that response uh, I found to be very, very bad. Uh, it was um, the, the concept of police versus um, the people they're trying to protect when, they, when there's uh, some kind of scandal or an event that people say is, is um, a hate crime or they say it's because of racial profiling, um, bias, bigotry, uh, hate, wh whatever they say it's caused by, um, those can be legitimate arguments of, you know, this person um, did this because. But since I don't know, and a lot of people don't know, there's investigations happening right now, I can't comment on that. But I can comment on the response to that, where people assume they know the answer and then go from there without actually knowing. And I've, I've touched on that before where people like to respond with with emotion. They, they like, and I'm not saying it's it's because it makes them feel good, although some, some people it does. But when you have an emotional response, like uh, if you are part of a community that you feel is being attacked or you're part, or you support a community that you feel is being attacked, or you dislike a community that is attacking something else, then you will be very angry. And that anger can be justified if what you're being angry about is true. But generally, like right now, because we don't know what happened yet, and the responses were instantaneous, people don't care. People do not care if what they believe is true or not, as long as they believe it without any questioning of it because they're still going to respond. And I know there are some people that have the ability to sit back and contemplate and consider and to analyze. Most people don't. That is just how it works. I don't know why it, well, I kind of do. It's very difficult to not respond, knee jerk, uh, just slamming your keyboard, vomiting onto the internet. People love to do that and I don't like it and I don't necessarily know exactly on an individual basis why this person is doing it or that person is doing it. But generally it's laziness and it's just emotional. And an emotional response that isn't based off of coherency, I just hate everything so I'm going to just start yelling at everybody, that's what people are doing. So that response resulted in uh, some, I don't know if it was one or two people um, shooting police officers, a lot of them. So the police officers, um, in two separate instances just in the past few days, uh, killed two people that, uh, under unknown circumstances. Uh, investigations were ensuing, but then there was a response to those which was direct and purposeful 100% violence against police officers, which the police officers that were being shot and targeted were not even involved in the other thing. They didn't target the people that were under investigation. They just shot random police officers. Now, this kind of response is horrifying. It's horrible. I'm not defending those people at all. And when I say those people, I mean the people that are that were shooting police officers. I'm not saying those people as in, oh, because they were this race or ethnicity or whatever. They were shooting people. They, those people that were shooting people. I'm not simplifying i'm not generalizing there is a specific group of people that uh, if i knew their names i would say their names i don't know their names that's what i mean those literal two people or i think there was two people so that's why it's hard to use these words i can't just say they because people assume i'm being racist <laughs> which is stupid because that's not what i'm doing and it's, it should be understood but so those people started shooting police officers and now there's an anti that group actually generalizing of saying black lives matter are terrorists or black lives matter 
is a farce and therefore all of it is just racist um, and those arguments need a much more coherent response because when one group is attacked and a radicalized part of that group responds with violence you cannot generalize the entire group because of the radicalized part and I mentioned this in my last video when you have fear and anger and hate that's either old and not understood properly or new and still confusing because it's so uh, you don't have a structure to figure out how to deal with it yet when you have these problems you have to you have to understand them before you respond to them and what I've seen was the the gunmen that started shooting police officers um, or gunmen uh, they responded without consideration they just were just all policemen should die and they started killing policemen out of hate and anger and confusion and fear whatever they were doing I don't know what their history was or why their motivations were so broad like I well, not their targets their targets were so broad just anybody non-black police officers I think was the only criteria they had Ow, sorry elbowed my desk um, so you have that response which was pure violence uh, then you have the response to that violence which was just all blacks are that or that cause that those people were supposedly following are all bad and that's not how that works you can say that the movement of black lives matter has a a fundamental flaw or that it has a uh, uh, a direction like a focus that isn't perfectly aligned with the messages that they're being presented with like you can say one thing and do another is that, that's what I mean it's like they say it's equality like the feminist movement you can say it's equality but it might not be and that's an argument you can make but when you say the entire movement is a fraud, the entire everyone involved is racist, everyone involved is is a bigot, everyone involved just hates white men uh, or white people in general, and you have this generalization, and that's the response that I'm seeing. You have the side that is saying the police were wrong, and these people were wrong, and the people responding to it are wrong, and you you have different reasons for it. And what I've seen is you give time for the for the police officers, the first police officers to be investigated properly before you respond to that. But people did respond to that. Just there were protests, there was vigils, there was a whole bunch of stuff going on. And it was under the 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 flag of Black Lives Matter, because that's what happens when there's a shooting of of um, a white police officer shooting uh, any any black person. That's what's been happening quite often. So there is a lot of anger, and there's been violent protests, but there's been a lot of peaceful ones too. So the arguments made that all of them are bad. You cannot say that the vigils are, are bad. You cannot say that the peaceful protests are bad when they are calling for justice and not vengeance. And I think that's the big difference that people are misunderstanding. There are people that trust the police, that respect the police, that that honor the police officers that are putting their lives in on the line, and at the same time saying if these police officers are breaking the law by abusing their power or by by spreading hate through violence and then using their position for protection of themselves to get away with crimes, those people need to be removed from the police force because they are tarnishing the, the goodness the police actually should have. And that distinction, people ignore. They don't want pro-black lives and pro-police lives. They want either one or the other. You're, if you're on one side, you can't be on the other side, but that's not true. So you have this simplification and division that isn't fair because, yeah, there are a lot of people that are on one side or the other. There are a lot of people because they're angry and they're not trying to understand. 
but you can't generalize because that's what simplifies the entire premise and adds to that division because there's no communication. And if you understand that the people that were shot by the police, that's a tragedy. It might have been, because we don't know, it might have been justified. It might have been a situation where the police officers felt they were in danger and were reacting fairly. It might not have been. We don't know. But either way, those people died. And then later, police officers died. And now there's a lot of people that are being hurt um, politically, like because of the, the backlash to all of this. People are pushing agendas because it's such a charge, there's a lot of energy. And energy can be used for horrible things, and we have to avoid that. We cannot allow tragedy to be used to fuel fear, and that fear be used to push agendas that are damaging to the groups that have already been hurt, or anybody in general. But they're usually targeted towards... See, right now, you have people that are anti-gun, anti-black, anti-police, anti-anti-police, anti-anti-black. And it's just all of these different groups just jumping out of everywhere. And they're not really talking to each other. Some of them are. But most of the conversation is accusation. And when you have a lot of accusation, you become angry you be, well it's fueled by anger but you become more angry you become more aggressive you become more and that's where those gunmen came from is they were just fed up probably and they they made a decision to do something that was bad and when i say bad i mean horrifyingly bad so when i look at this situation there wasn't enough information to discernibly say yes, these police officers are corrupt, or this violence was unjustified, that they're racist, that they're bigots, that they're murderers. Uh, there wasn't enough information. Those people didn't care. They shot up a whole bunch of police officers, killed those people, hurt a whole bunch of people. Uh, that was a hate crime. And then there's a response politically saying that the entire movement that those people potentially were part of uh, is pretty much uh, not not a terrorist group they haven't done they haven't gone so far broadly but that it's it's a hate group or that it's it's a racist anti-white group or that it's pro-black anti-everything group there's a whole bunch of people that don't understand what the movement means a whole bunch of people that say they know what the movement means and kind of do the feminist movement and the Bla all black lives matter movement and the you know the the pro-gay movements, all of these different groups are built on different foundations. They, they all have different focuses and they have different, you know, leadership and they have different, they have different things that they're trying to do. And you can't say that a fringe group represents all of them or that small things that you don't fully understand that they're trying to do or just you disagree with them, so therefore they're automatically wrong, which isn't how that works either, that because of these things that the entire group is bad. Um, you can argue that because of X, Y, Z, that there, there can be fundamental problems in their focus, in their, in their leadership, or maybe they're hypocritical, or maybe they are racist through their... Like, you can say the GOP is racist or, or bigoted. You can say that the Democrats are racist or bigoted. You can say that the Catholic Church uh, is, is X, Y, and Z. You can say that those things are possible within certain structures of it, but you cannot generalize and say every single part of this is bad and without a good reason. Like if I said that the GOP was was um, being racist because it has fundamentally and unapologetically uh, accused Obama of being a Muslim, of being uh, X, Y, and Z. Like, if you call somebody a Muslim when they're not, on national television, when you have political power, then you, and you represent a very large amount of people, you have a problem because you can't just say that. You have to have you know, he, here's him doing this, and here's him doing this, and here's him doing this, and you have a very 
coherent and articulate reason for it, and then you can be fact-checked and you can look into it. That stuff's fine, but most of the time they don't. They just, uh, uh, this, and then they just kind of throw it off. And that was in my last video as well. That's why I brought it up, is because it's very recent. But this one, the Black Lives Matter, the, the, the movement, Black Lives Matter movement, has gained a lot of momentum because there have been a large amount of white police officers shooting uh, under unknown circumstances or un, um, just kind of un, unsure footing of who was in the wrong circumstances of black people. And uh, it's, it started, um, I believe, with, um, if I no, that was a Hispanic kid. Oh, there's, there's been a lot of, um, what was this, Tyrone? It, it's just, it's been so long. Uh, there's just been a lot of anger, and it's been building up, where you see it once, it's tragedy. You see it again, now there's protests. You see it again, now there's anti-that protests. Then, then you, it happens again, you have hate crimes responding to it. Now you have actual people shooting at the police, because of, I'm not saying it's justified, it's not. It's never justified to attack somebody that's innocent or, or that you feel wronged you or that you has wearing a uniform that you disagree with, which you can argue, people do at sporting events all the time, which is just as stupid, but um, less damaging, I guess, than this. It's, it's cultural... It's a cultural response. It's that I identify as X group. They are killing X group. Therefore, I will kill them back. And that mentality is not good. And it needs to be addressed in a way that actually deflates the entire thing and not inflates it bigger. Uh, and I believe that politically attacking... Uh, an entire group, an entire race of people, which is a potentiality uh, because of the way Hispanics and Muslims have been treated, there is a precedent, and, and the Japanese as well, in the internment camps that we had. Uh, we call them internment camps. It's the exact same thing as a concentration camp, except we weren't murdering them. Um, we, we, we gathered, we, see, we have the idea that it's okay as long as we are fearful. It's okay as long as they deserve it. And when we say they, we mean all of them. And that generalization is very, very dangerous. More dangerous than all of these other things that have been happening. We have, we have protests, we have vigils, and we have um, discussion. But what we're really, really going towards is... Uh, civil disorder, civil, um, not war, because that implies a political, you know, military thing. But w what we're getting more and more towards, if this keeps happening, is Black Lives Matter either being deemed a terrorist group because of the, if this kind of response, like if there's another police shooting, and then there's a active group that identifies as Black Lives Matter, a much larger group, because right, right now it was like two people and they killed a whole bunch of people. Uh, if they have 10 people and they just start like empty out a, a shopping mall or something like or attack a police police station or something like that, that would be a terrorist attack. And that could derail the entire, like it would deem Black Lives Matter potentially a terrorist group, which is not good and should be See, again, I can't say avoided because that sounds like it's just something we can ignore. Uh, like, oh, if as long as we don't do this, it won't happen. No, this is a, a way to respond. It's like, how the heck do we respond to this level of violence? It's, un, it's not unprecedented, but it's the last time it happened, we didn't deal with it very well. So it's just a really confusing kind of it, it's it's very messy right now and i'm i'm fearful for the innocents that are involved in this the people that are part of the black lives matter movement they might not all be good people there are people within that movement that are 
pushing the ideologies because they're hateful, because they're vindictive or they want revenge for, for something cultural. Um, uh, what was it? was it three acres and a mule kind of kind of compensation for their the past and there are people within the movement that are like that they're 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 angry and hateful and spiteful and all those things but not all of them there are a lot of people within the movement that want peace and that might be characteristic of other groups that say they want peace but are actually violent um and you can use violence as a means to obtain peace. Uh, that's that's kind of what the United States did a lot when we were uh, uh, fighting um, uh, communism and terrorism, and like we use violence to uh, try to obtain peace. But when when they do it, it's terrorism. When we do it, it's it it's uh, liberation, um, which, which is something else entirely. But um, that that argument, I mean, is something else entirely. But um, when I when I say all these things, I'm trying to get my thoughts out, and I'm trying to say that blue lives matter, black lives matter, all lives do matter, but I don't know what the all lives matter movement was founded on. It seems like all lives matter was a counter to black lives matter, which if that was the only reason it was made is a bad reason, um, because the black lives matter movement, from what I've seen, is a movement for justice towards um, the endemic racism that actually exists. And if you want to stop a group that I believe is found, I don't know 100% because it's impossible to know 100%, but if I, I believe that it is trying to stop racism and it might not be perfectly formatted and it might not be you know perfectly fo focused because it's made of people, but if that was the purpose that Black Lives Matter is, and it's just kind of being muddled up because of the people within it, uh, I don't think that's a bad cause. I, I've seen worse. But an anti-that because you don't want justice doesn't sound right either. It, does, it actually sounds wrong. So I need to know more about the All Lives Matter ideas, its foundation, its reasons for existing, who's in charge of it. And I don't know very much about it. I've I heard a lot about it um, when, when it started, but when it started, it sounded like it was being used as a political talking point. It sounded like a Black Lives Matters are racist, why not all lives matter? But it didn't address the idea that Black Lives Matter is a legitimate kind of thing saying this exists why would you why would you try to crush the smaller charities because there's another charity over there that holds all of the people instead of just you know the the the, the. see you have charities that are focused on something because something is bad like you know ending poverty in africa or ending hunger in in wherever and then you have another charity that ends hunger everywhere well, why don't we fund that one instead of the, the, the one in Africa? Well, the one in Africa is, you know, much more, you know, prevalent. I mean, it's one of the most, you know, <laughs> people die there the most from this, pretty much. So we could kind of focus on that one. Like, we're not against that one, like the everyone, but this one's a pretty big problem, too. I mean, you shouldn't try to squash us as being racist because we're trying to save just African babies. I mean... That's a pretty big thing to focus on. So that's what I think the differences are. All Lives Matter doesn't, doesn't you know, say bad things. I, I believe that all lives do matter. But I don't know what the premise of that group is. And the Black Lives Matter is, from what I've seen, a little bit more coherent, at least, because of the, 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 the longevity of it. It's, it's been around a little bit longer. Uh, their message appears to be, you know, stop the racism. And I've seen the racism. I know that the racism exists. And I, I, I grew up with people that were extremely racist. And it's there still. And I want to explain that one group ac asking for justice, not revenge, justice, that's not bad. They might go about it the wrong way. They might go about it in a very bad way. But the, the idea should not be attacked simply because you don't want them to have justice. 
And if that's the premise of All Lives Matter Foundation, we don't want Black Lives Matter because we don't like X, Y, and Z without explaining that, you know, quashing them is not the same thing as saying, you know, ours is important too. Because that's, that's very different things. That's co, uh, cohabitation. Both of them can exist. One should not try to destroy the other unless one of them is inherently bad. And but possibly it is. I don't know. But when, when this, this attack, Blue Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, those arguments are not... Um, they can exist in the same person. You can say police officers are great and black people are great and white people are great if you really want to just say, you know, everyone is great but or everyone's bad, depending on your, your worldview. But when when you have this idea that they can't be in the same person, that if you are if you support police officers, you can't support black people, or if you support black people, you can't support police officers. That idea is wrong. Like, you can, and you kind of should, really. I mean, you don't have to support all, like, every single person, because, again, there are bad eggs, but as a, as a position, police officers are not evil. Like, they're, they're not trained to be evil. They might be trained in a way that's outdated and, you know, n not... Uh, co not within our societal norms today because some of these places are more rural or some of these places just have outdated practices and racial profiling and stuff like that. That stuff can be addressed and fixed. But when you, when you have this idea that all police officers are evil, that, that's wrong. That, that's not true. Or same as all black people. That's not true. There is no all of them are X. You can't say that. And political correctness is so... Like, when you when you use political correctness uh, or the, the attacks on political correctness to justify your racism or bigotry, that's not how political correctness works either. And I should make a video on that, actually. The difference between political correctness and, you know, the, the morals behind what that means. Because you, you can say, don't be political correct, or... You know, um, don't be so sensitive or don't be so, you know, soft and whatever, whatever you want to use to attack it, that that's a very complex thing. And I need to I need to address that as well. But you can say all lives matter and actually mean black lives matter, blue lives matter, white, my, I, everybody. You can just say all lives matter. But I want to make sure that that's not coupled in with a with an organization that might not actually have that ideal and that's why I want to know more about it before I say that but for now I support uh, I support the coherency and the art the understanding of these situations before saying they're wrong or they're wrong or they're wrong and the only group I could really say that is wrong are the shooters that were attacking the police officers and the people within the political realm that are using this for their own agendas, knowing that it's a tragedy and just not caring. They just want their political career careers to get a little bit more powerful. Those people are, are wrong um, on different for different reasons, but they're 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 both using these the, these tragedies for their own thing, and it's not good. Uh, and they, they think they're doing the right thing because, you know, some people just are, are messed up in the head. But uh, And I don't mean, like, mentally uh, handicapped or anything. I just mean that their culture, their internal morals are just all screwed up. So um, it's almost at 30 minutes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it here. And I hope this was entertaining or informative or, I mean, it's not going to be funny. Um, it's not going to be like, yay, but... It's it's still something that I'm I'm trying to deal with because it's still very new. It's still very, very scary to to think about all of these repercussions and and all of these potential things that are happening right right now. Is there's so much hate in the world? And I guess there always has been, but it's just been bottled up under you know they're too far away. We don't have to deal with them right now. Um, and now that the world's getting smaller, so everyone's closer together, and they just start. So. 
I'm gonna end the video here, and I hope to see you in the next one. I'll, the next one, I'm probably gonna be on political correctness, just because I touched on it in this one, and I think it's an important thing to, to, to really, really um, clarify. So, I hope you have a nice day, and peace.